How did a Coney Island sideshow popularize a technology that has saved millions of babies' lives? See, in the 1800s, the standard of care for premature infants was to focus on the mother as the chance that the child would make it would be slim to none. But that all began to change when a French obstetrician named Stéphane Tarnier walked through a Paris zoo, saw the poultry warming chambers, and thought he could create the same thing for premature infants to recreate the nurturing environment of the womb. Doing that, he wasn't the inventor of the infant incubator, but was the first to apply it to the regular care of the premature, and in doing so was criticized by the medical establishment, saying that it was at best ineffective and at worst a pseudoscience. Parents would not want to pay for an ineffective treatment, which is when Martin County, with the help of his supervisor, Boudin, set up what was essentially a makeshift premature baby hospital of incubators that visitors would fund to be able to go and see. To make it interesting for the visitors, County would ask the nurses to dress their tiny infants in oversized clothes that would make them look even smaller, and when visitors took a particular liking to one of them, would keep coming back to see how they were getting on. Out of the 8,000 or so premature infants that were sent there, 6,500 made it out alive. After running for four decades, the technology was picked up by mainstream medicine and Martin County declared his mission complete, saying that he's been making propaganda for the proper care of preemies. Would you want to visit?